Hello. Hi, welcome to Solution Manuals and we are going to learn or in this case do some problems from the book College Physics by Survey. Um, in case you want to check out the book, um, I've given the link for it in the MA, uh, from the Amazon um, website. You can just go and check it out or you can go in the public library, I guess. But anyway, so the first problem that we are going to um, see is uh, from dimension analysis. Okay, so here you have um, the period of a simple pendulum defined as the time necessary for one complete oscillation is measured in terms of this value. So this is the period of a simple pendulum and you have a length as L and uh, whereas L is the length and G is the acceleration due to gravity. So as we know from dimensional analysis, acceleration is nothing but, um, so it's actually given here. So acceleration due to gravity is in terms of length divided by time squared. So it's G, the dimension of G is um, L divided by T squared. Okay. So uh, what about um, length? So L is nothing but dimension of length. So moving on, apply that formula and 2 pi as zero dimension so this zero doesn't mean that you are going to multiply with another term and then that is going to leave you zero no that is not the case it means it just simply means it's null it's void okay so you have time which is um time has the dimension of you guessed it time and so the solution is so you have um time and the 2 pi has no dimension so we are going to leave it as it is and then we are going to put that on the square so l um, has the dimension of length divided by l the dimension of the um, g um, the acceleration of gravity is l divided by t squared so we know this is probably a b by so second so you can consider this as you know, a b divided by sorry so you can consider this as um a by b divided by c by d so how do we proceed with this one we simply um, flip it so a b stays the same but then um, c d will go up but d will c d will be flipped upside down so you get a d by b c so in this case you can um, imaginarily input you can divide the numerator by one which is not going to change anything so you can just sponsor go ahead with that so again so moving on so you have root of l divided by um, 1 times t squared so you have to flip this one to the numerator so therefore you have t squared divided by l so the L, L cancels out and you have T square and a square root. So T square of um, square of a square root is nothing but the value itself. So therefore, T is um, the dimension of T are consistent. So the consistency is maintained. Right, so that's about it so the equation we have to show that the equation has to be dimensionally consistent and yes it is consistent so 
see you in the next. Um, if you have any question, you can leave your comments uh, in the comment box below, or you can email me. I would give you. Um, I would uh, put my email ID in the description box below. Check it out, and you'll see another dimension problem in the next video. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day. Thank you.